How many strains of cannabis are a lot less fly product? There's hundreds and if not thousands. Almost fully seen. Looking at the flower structure, get a very clean vapor. <laughs> So right now we're going to address how aquaponics influences cannabis growth and health. And right behind me is a perfect example of how we grow cannabis in our current system. So you have a riverine system. Cannabis is a, a nitrophile, meaning it grows really well in high nitrate water. So when you think about a river basin, cannabis evolves at the uh, base of the Himalayas in Asia. So you would have seasonal rains come through and flood the banks where cannabis would be growing, depositing high nitrate solutions. So when we grow more equatorial sativas that have similar genetic makeups to those types of cultivars that work really well in a river system, we actually optimize growth and performance um, really well. So some other benefits of uh, aquaponics on plants is that they uh, the aquaponics environment creates a nice little microhabitat, and all the microbial decomposition of organic waste um, causes a CO2 fertilization effect. And we know that when there's uh, more CO2, plants grow much quicker and much faster. Um, also in a system like this, you have a high diversity of bacteria and fungi, and plants share a symbiotic relationship, so a beneficial relationship with those and aquaponics allows for a system that has a high diversity and a high activity of bacteria and fungi. So when you think about aquaponics and its effects on cannabis, just imagine this as a natural environment with cannabis growing along a river bank and having seasonal floods come and deposit really rich organic uh, sources of nitrate.